Hey guys, welcome back. It's uh, me, Angel, Undercover Angel, and first of all, I just want to say thanks. We're almost at 100 subscribers, so that's really cool. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, you know? Uh, today is a really cool, like, fishing cabin that I wanted to build because in my mate's server, I actually found the trader and got a fishing rod, so I can fish now. So, we're just starting off doing the floor here. Um, so basically just, just copy what I do here. So I thought, you know, since we're building the floor here, um, you guys could get to know me maybe. So my name's Corey, I'm 22. I live in New Zealand. I'm from England originally. And um, I really love survival games. Um, I used to play a lot of Rust, Daisy, miscreated a lot of those kind of style games and this is a nice mix between survival and just it's real open world so I'm, I'm loving every minute of it and um, I hope you guys stay because YouTube is something I've sort of had go at a few times and I'm here for the long run I will be uh, staying keep grinding you know comment down below whereabouts you guys are from it would be really interesting to know where people are viewing this video from I'm really interested since you guys are all subscribing and liking and commenting it's awesome I love all the feedback So now that the floor's done, this little pokey out area, that's going to be for the balcony. We've moved on to the post now. Um, we're going to start making the frame. I say um a lot, but I don't know what else to say in between. <laughs> Just putting the post down. And yeah, if you didn't know, New Zealand just had like an earthquake warning, a tsunami warning from an earthquake, shall I say. And that was on the coast of where I live. Pretty freaky. We didn't have to evacuate, but a lot of places near us had to. So we were pretty safe. I was at work at the time. <laughs> I didn't get sent home, unfortunately. But you know, I had to keep going, I keep grinding, keep working, making that dough. So yeah, once you stack those up to we're putting these angled posts on now this is going to start making the roof shape to this so go around and put like two or three as much as you can it goes up like three posts around the whole thing so let's go around and do that like i'm doing here As you see, I had to get up on the staircase to reach the other one, so I'm sure you'll have to as well if you want to do this, you know, it's exactly how I do it. A lot of my videos is just for inspiration, really, like my first videos, that's why I sort of chop them up a lot, but making these longer videos is much more helpful to you guys, so I don't mind, I don't mind. Stick these cross beams on the top, give it that Viking vibe all around the top of each one. And we're bringing these down, these posts. These are gonna go down two posts. And it's gonna to connect to like a, a beam going across the top to give it a nice rustic -y 
useful look, sort of. It's mainly for the support. <laughs> and um, you'll see in a minute that I put posts going right down to the bottom, but I actually break those in the end, so you don't need to do that. You don't need to paste, place those posts going right to the bottom. And just go around and place sideways posts going around just like I do, sort of just around the whole thing. These posts here are going to be for the kind of like a it's not like a balcony it's just like an out area seated area just gives it a bit of a nice vibe good look follow along and place these sideways posts in again mainly for support for when we put the roof in So now it's time for the roof. Just go around and just put all these uh, 45 degree angled roofs in. I'm just speeding that up here in a minute just to, you know, it's, it's pretty boring watching this pit. So yeah, just speed this all up. And so next, we're putting in all the walls. Do what I do here, it's just go around almost the whole thing. Cool, so now that that's done, we're making the outer fence. So this part here, again, um, I ended up destroying and then placing it on the actual, the floors that are a bit further out. So you, you can do that now or just wait till the end and you'll see what I do. And just place some walls around. I've already placed them on the other side because I forgot to record that part. <laughs> Yeah, and then just on the edge of those beams, start placing those 36 degree roofs, not the 45. This is gonna add some diversity to the roof shape. Again, with the roofs, they're actually 26. I was saying 36 before, 26 degree roofs. Just copy what I do here. Now switching back to the 45 degree roofs, we're making this nice little little bit here, I don't know what you would call this, but it's just for the corridor, for the front door, it looks really nice. And in the center, you see I put those 26 degree like middle roofs, we actually changed those out for the 45 degree ones later, so you can do that now, or if you're watching the whole video first, I don't know. I actually missed a couple roofs, so we're just putting those in now, afterwards. And now I'll get your walls and face them outwards, place them all across the top here, connecting the roof to the wall.
and we're just going to fill in this little gap here. One of those cheeky Greylands trying to attack me, as always, as they do when you're busy trying to do some stuff. But yeah, place these corners in, and then place another wall in the middle. So here, it actually helps if you destroy the beams that we already placed there, and just place these corner pieces, because they actually have beams on them. So you can do that. Um, I end up doing it here. Now going around the outside, we're placing more beams following the roof down, that's those 26 degrees. And just again on this other little hallway roof piece that I've made here. Next we're going to be putting in some posts to connect to the roof here for the little balcony area. And then just hop up on your roof and fill in the gaps for those, um, you're going to need the 45 degree roofs, those little triangle roofs. Um, oh yeah, and place those little beams there, <laughs> God's mention. Follow what I do here by placing these beams going around the outside. And so you see here, I actually ended up destroying these beams and ended up placing them further out onto those, a bit wider out. Okay, so now we're going to be starting to create the dock. We're going to place a couple planks, wood planks, floors, 
over here and then place some stairs just going down just one lot of stairs and just get your beams and place it around the outline of this dock that we're going to be making here If you guys play this game, you know how hard it is to make a dock, like a proper one. So, I won't talk much in this bit, just follow me as I build the dock. So coming back inside the house, just fill in some walls, just like we did on the other side, corner pieces. Um, I left this open because I thought I was going to make a big chimney here, but I end up putting one of those hearths in the middle. So yeah, heading on top of the roof now, we've got sort of like a chimney. It's just a little, little sticky out thing. It acts as a chimney but it wasn't really, it's just to get rid of the smoke so you don't end up suffocating. <laughs> And just to give it a nice viking look, like we're nice and stable, just place these beams going all around, just in the areas that I do here, gives it a nice look. Next is the fence, this is going to be for a little farm, as you saw in the intro, so just do what I do here. And just break this wall and place one of those big gates there. I feel like the gates look way better than a tiny little door. It actually looks like a door instead of like a little dwarf door. <laughs> And that's basically the whole build. We're just planting our carrots and our turnips here. This makes it so when you're not just living on fish, you need that healthy diet, you know? 
just some some vegetables and that's that's basically the whole build so the next clip is just going to be me sort of showing you the decorations that I made inside the house uh, catching a fish here and then um, yeah you can sort of see how I decorate if you like it I could make a decorating video I think that would be pretty neat so yeah I hope you enjoyed subscribe we're almost at 100 so I hope you subscribe like maybe up to you but yeah hope you enjoyed latest